Hello everyone, my name is Nate. Welcome to my Fluid Art channel. Um, I'm painting on, I'm doing a little experiment. I'm painting on a uh, previously used canvas. This was a Nautilus pour that I did that dried a little too dark for me. So um, I'm gonna reuse this canvas and do something different. I'm in, I want to do a ring pour. For some reason, I'm just in the mood for ring pours. <laughs> So does that happen to anybody else where you just get into the mood to do one particular technique over and over and over again? So anyway, I'm going to do uh, a ring pour, uh, but I'm going to layer my cup um, like a sandwich pour, which is usually done for um, either like a marbling technique or for a flip cup or something like that. But I wondered what it would look like if you did it as a ring pour. So that's what I'm going to do today. I have some, amp uh, all of my colors today, except for one, are leftover colors. So I have some leftover whites here. This is Amsterdam titanium white. Uh, I know that there are also some satin enamels mixed into that. Um, this is, um, I think the base of this is uh, Amsterdam um, primary, um, primary magenta, uh, but there's some sparkle to it. So I know I've mixed in some metallics in there. <laughs> Um, this is a mix of uh, Deco Art Deep Sapphire and Garnet. It's a beautiful metallic purple color. And then I have some leftover Mysterious. This is a mix of Deco Art uh, Deep Sapphire and Emerald. I have some Amsterdam Lamp Black. I have Amsterdam's Greenish Blue. I have some Deco Art Garnet. And then I have some Joe Sonia's Pale Gold. So what I'll be doing here is putting in a little bit of white in the bottom, putting some of these, drizzling some of these colors in, and then putting another layer of white, uh, and drizzling some more colors, and then topping it off with white again. So the white kind of acts like the bread, and I'm, um, and then all of this is the meat uh, or the fillings. And um, yeah, so I'm really interested to see how this is going to work out. So um, I will go ahead and layer my cup to start after I've shown you the consistency of my paints. And everything I'm pouring with today is mixed with mixed pour, seven parts mix to one part paint. This is uh, gold is the only one that I've just mixed up fresh so there are some air bubbles in there, but you can see how thick this is. I want my rings to hold their shape so I'm using a very thick consistency. And the... Um, the white, everything else, everything is the same consistency. So I will go ahead and start layering my cup. Put a nice layer of white in the bottom. Not a lot, because I don't want white to take up the entire center of the pour. Um, what color do I want in first after that? I think I'm going to go for this mysterious color. I first heard about this color from Mina Villegas and Sarah Mack. Uh, and it's like a, um, a beautiful metallic turquoise. I really love it. So I just drizzled a little bit on top there. I'll show it to you here. Hopefully you can see that. So I didn't, uh, um, the paints are so thick and I poured close enough that, I don't want to put the red art next to it. I'm gonna put some gold. Um, uh, that it doesn't, when you uh, drizzle it in, it doesn't pierce the, the layer of the paint below it. This isn't a dirty pour. We're layering the colors on top of each other. Uh, so we'd use the mysterious. Let's put in gold. Let's actually put in a little bit of black. When you do a sandwich pour, all these colors have to travel through the, ooh, that's very thick. That might be too thick, ouch. Uh, I thought I tested that. I can do about it now. Um, okay, let's put some of this magenta in there. And I've forgotten what I was saying. <laughs> How about some of the, see that's a much better consistency, some of that metallic purple, the greenish blue, Garnet. And then we'll put another layer of white. Nice 
thick layer of white. So, oh, that's what I was saying. Um, with the sandwich pour, you don't want to use um, lighter shades because there is so much white in this cup, it washes the colors out. So these darker colors will get lighter. And um, it's a beautiful, beautiful uh, way to do it. So let's start this one with the garnet. With that white, on top of that white, it might give us some pink, which would be perfectly fine. In fact, let's go ahead and put the magenta on top of that. I'll put some gold again. Hoping for some cells. With the uh, white having some satin enamels in it and then using some gold, some metallics in here, we should get some decent cells. Let's go with the greenish blue again. And the metallic purple. I'm going to skip the black because I don't think that was the right uh, consistency. I thought I had checked that, but I'm a little disappointed. Let's drizzle some of this in here. I'm actually going to put a little more gold. This isn't DecoArt 24 karat gold, so it won't take over, or it shouldn't. And. That's two layers, so we'll go ahead and fill the rest of this up with white. Actually, I think I can get another layer in here. I don't have all of the colors available anyway. Nope, let's start with the purple this time. left. I think there's going to be, with all these blues and reds and purples, I think this is going to be a very purple painting <laughs> as things change. Put that garnet on top of that and we'll fill the rest of it up with white. Fill this right up to the top. This canvas is a 20 by 20, uh, so which means that at a really thick consistency, I need about 14 ounces of paint, and this cup holds 15. So we'll see how that goes. Um, oh, I forgot to get a flow extender, but I have a slop cup. I'll, I'll figure that out. Okay, so we're going to do a ring pour starting right here in the center. I am gonna pinch this cup a little bit so that it pours a little easier once I get down to my colors.
Here are the wet results of my sandwich cup ring pour. I am in love with this. Oh my God. The depth in this, it looks like a portal. It's, there's so many great cells. The colors are delicious. Let me take you in for some details. We'll start in the center. Look at the layering in that. There's like shadow and light, beautiful lines, funky little center that I really love. Look at that. So pretty. I'm really happy with that. And as you come up here, there's that purple and the garnet. But look at those like fingerlings that we got. Lovely. But I think the star of the show is this layer of garnet and magenta and purple cells that can come all the way around here. Look at these cells. The boulder cells are just spectacular. I was really careful when I was um, tilting it out not to lose any of that because it was it's my favorite part. But look at these boulder cells. Wow! Look at that one in the middle looks like it's got two eyeballs. Looks like a the face of an ant or something. <laughs> but these cells up here are spectacular too. Um, there's one big cell that kind of breaks the line there, which is weird, but I like it. I like weird. Do you guys like weird? <laughs> and look at the transparency in this area. Wow. I'm gonna be fascinated to see how this dries. I hope it's not too dark. I don't think it will be. That white did soften everything. There's lots of uh, pinks and coral colors in here. Yeah, I'm really, really happy with this. Look at that. That is just amazing. I love it. All those little white wavy lines running through everything, giving it definition. Super happy. I hope you like this too. 
Stay tuned for the dry results. So here is the dry result of my ring pour using a sandwich layered cup. I'm so excited about this. It's beautiful. I love these colors. This center looks just like it's inviting you in. And you can see that gold sparkling there in the light. These cells down here are gorgeous. Look at that. Really, really pretty. Very happy with all of that. Let's see if I can get so it's not no glare. Those are some beautiful lines in there. But look at this section right here. Oh, so pretty. So there we go. I think I'm gonna do this again. I think it looks a bit like a geode. Like a, uh, what is that? Like agate. I'm going to have to do this again, but I think I'm going to do this next. Next time I do this, I'm going to do it with neutral colors. See how that goes. I think this is really beautiful though. I hope you like it too. Um, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you'd like to see more. Come paint with me in November in Dallas at the Fluid Art Experience. Me and a whole bunch of other Amazing artists are going to be there uh, teaching all of our specialties. I'll be teaching the wing pour and the nautilus pour. You can look back in my um, video history of uh, my examples of that. Um, and I'll include the link uh, in the description box as well. So thanks again for watching and come back and see me sometime.